In the last two episodes we went racing and made a small fortune out of a big one. But it looks like we were able to save the company. This episode will focus on solidifying our position in the market and planning our next steps. And one of these is to not make the F2 project completely go to waste. You are already seeing the result, so let's see how we got there. So currently we are reeling in quite a bit of money. Hopefully this continues when we have sold off all of our pre-orders of the facelifted Nuova Via, where I unfortunately have forgotten to replace the wire wheels with proper magnesium wheels, even though we selected some, so this will be corrected in the future. But yeah, we have seen that we have troubles following all the safety regulations and emissions updates while we are also focusing on racing. So this little spreadsheet now will help us for the future and I will at least try to not forget to take a look from time to time. So I currently see two options for our next steps. One is to diversify and next to the Nuova Via, our supercar and the light sports car, the Montone, which is already getting pretty old. Let's have a GT model. This leads a little bit away from the light sports topic, but I guess given the current financial situation, it's all right to say that we need to find new markets with big pockets. And our racing efforts will have made our cars more desirable for the upper percent of the population. The other one is penetrating the light sports market with mass production of a new light sports model, because the Montone needs a replacement. This would include a new small engine and car factory. This will be difficult to do because we don't have money and the factories are expensive as hell. But it would be a long-term benefit to be able to produce at low cost and to get better margins. I would like to try to do both. Let's start with the light sports market where I already have a nice idea. We can use our F2 car, make it a two-seater and try to make it affordable. I think it fits quite well to say currently it's a project we would throw away and I think it's better if we try to make the most out of the money we already spent. I don't know if we can pull it off. We will definitely not be able to afford a small factory in the beginning. So while we are currently collecting money and trying to improve our credit rating, I can place it into a tiny factory like always with a contract engine. And then once we have a good credit rating, let's build another small car and engine factory. And then hopefully we will really have an affordable light sports car. And then afterwards we can try to do a cheaper GT project, which would be able to be built in our normal factories in our tiny sheds. So let's open the old project, it's no longer on our starting screen and do a facelift for the F2. And let's make a new facelift. I also want to rename it, I don't want to call it F2, let's call it C2 or in Italian G2, which I think would fit better. And then let's do a facelift. So currently the F2 car is on advanced 50s safety. I would probably update it to advanced 60s, which would get us to 22.3. So this kind of safety would be enough, even at zero quality, um, to get us into our markets. We need to be cheap, so I'm checking all of the qualities that we have, just to make sure that we are actually there. I'm just selecting a few more parts that would be relevant to us too seats and here with two seats the safety rating is dropping tremendously because the car is so tiny and there's no way to get the safety up except if you go for seven quality and that would be hell to engineer so currently the bad thing is as we are running fiberglass panels that we cannot change them because it's part of the model and not part of the trim in reality it wouldn't be a big problem to just bolt aluminium panels onto the space frame here in automation we cannot do that and that's why i will allow myself to do an edit of the database just this time because we don't get a benefit except for that we will be able to actually sell this car we didn't gain any familiarity in aluminium we gained a familiarity as we paid for the formula 2 project for fiberglass and i think it's completely fine to do that how to do that you get an editor for sql databases search for the models and then you see that here these are all of the models of Chisa Alpina. You go into the correct column here for the panel material, copy the aluminium string, paste it in and write the database and then you're ready to go. And when you then open the car again you see that we have the aluminium panels. Excellent. Uh, we have a lot of safety but I still need to update this. And now we are at 18.7 then 
we also go to 1960 safety again and there we are 20. That's enough for Fruinia or the 70s as well. It's not enough for Hedvesia, but there we don't have a light sports market yet. So this is the way we want to go. This is the car. We still need to make it possible that two people can actually sit in it. And then, yeah, let's see what we can make out of this. We will detune the engine later to make it more affordable. And we will see how good this car actually will be. But first of all, let's work on the design. And the first thing we need to do is to make the cabin a lot wider. And we have one slider here. Unfortunately, the car overall gets a lot more chubby, but I guess I have to live with that. I tried to do a full 3D build in Sandbox earlier, and I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. So we need to do something like this. I hope it still will look somewhat all right. I don't go for the full width. No, it doesn't add a lot of cockpit space anymore. So let's keep it a little bit smaller. Yeah, then we have to do a little bit of bodywork. We need to do bumpers, we need to do lights. And we need to get rid of these flashing things and cut away a bit in the rear again. I am not yet sure what we want to do as an engine cover. I think it will be more covered than the Formula 2 version, but the rear definitely will be open. This is the aesthetic I want to go for. And we definitely need more cutouts here to get rid of the rest. So it's roughly done. We need to get rid of a few more things. So let's switch to conventional double wishbone in the rear. There are still some struts that need to go away. And then of course all of the rivets have gone all over the place. Oh man. Yeah, I'll fix those up later. Just remove what we don't need anymore. Um, we need two seats, obviously, and the seats need to be smaller. Let's just turn it back to regular size for now. And that already looks very cozy in there, right? <laughs> no space at all. So let's get rid of a few more things need more room the inner panel takes a lot of room away so I guess I need to make it transparent and then add other things later and I also have to cut away the whole um, windscreen and create a bigger hole Maybe like this. Yeah, it's really finicky, this body. So I need to do something like this. You go here. And the rest will be done a bit later. Just want to have the rough shape for now. And now I want to work on the overall aesthetic first before we go into um, all of the smaller details. Obviously we need two roll hoops. Really hard to select things. And everything is just big cut out. This is the dashboard. we have produced a few cars in the meantime. So 
So we need a different chassis number. I don't know if these numbers match up with the overall production numbers with, that we had. But we can at least pretend that they are correct. Don't look too closely, it's not like all of the distances match up. Alright, so let's work on the bigger things now, finally. And that means bumper and headlamps indicators. I think we also need a little bit more track width. Let's do advanced trim settings. Then let's go for some headlights and I think by now you know what I'm going for from a looks perspective. Probably not the best location. Maybe there. Uh, yeah, let's add the number plate before it's too late. Also need some screws in there. Finding a good spot for indicators is probably a bit hard. Okay, we probably will break quite a few times so far outside. I probably at least need to rotate them. Okay, so that would be the front. I don't know if there are any regulations on how low you can place the headlights. If there are some, then facelift will do it, I guess. Oh no, the screws. Let's move on. We still need to make things a bit more street legal. And that also means covering the wheels. Don't know if we can just get away like this. Probably not. Or maybe. I don't know if this is too bad. Definitely needs to be wider. I don't think I like this swoopy thing here, so I will go for something else. Yeah, I think I like this a lot more in general need to work on the details and I think it looks nice should probably also align it with the camber that we have here but I'll do that in the end and now all of this here with the air intakes looks a lot nicer as well so now I probably also have to get rid of this again Still, I have bigger wheels in the rear than in the front. I will keep it to make it special. But that also means I need to adjust the arches. Same here with the camber. I'll do that later. I would love that these have a bigger cutout, but I really haven't found any proper wheel arches. It's 
So this one would basically be it. That's just a very basic thing. But then I don't get anything outside. So it would basically just be a sheet. And then I think it's actually better like this. First of all, I still need to get a few things right. I'd like them to be lower in the rear. This really is hard to do. Okay, somewhat alright, but a bit offset. Still need to fix more of this part. Something also for later. I think it's coming together. It's very strange, I know. We also want to offset the engine a bit more to the front. Ah, I see also that the number plate is transparent from the back if you get rid of some of the housing need to fix that probably should add some kind of muffler as well We still need our signature air intake, I guess. And this time we can actually use something like this. So the air intake is on one side, so I, I will not make it across the whole width. Not ideal, not the most beautiful fixture. Yeah, optimizations can come later. Overall, I am starting to be somewhat happy. I just don't like how close these wheel arches are here in the front. So I need to cut a body away from there or mold it. Problem is, this body just does not want to be molded. Should be better. And I'm already looking forward trying to animate those wheel arches for beam. That will be hell don't know if it's actually possible especially as these are not one part if the wheel arches would be one part maybe it would be possible so we probably have to ignore that at least for the first iteration this will be my windshield I hope I can make it work Yeah, it's not too good. Okay, I got my interior lined out a bit more. I guess I need to work on the rear lights just to get a better feeling for the car. I 
I think I go for something like this. want to get rid of the seam here. How hard can it be? Problem is that the cutout doesn't do anything here. Oh, like this. Nice. Yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Excellent. Really nice. I don't like um, the lights. Yeah, maybe like this not perfect for the exhaust but it will get us somewhere just need to somehow tie it in place let's take a look at how the car actually would look like tire wise damn this thing is fast um no race lsd i guess yeah too expensive wheels radials for sure this time and I can go, I could go proper wide, but I don't want to be so heavy. So maybe I just try 165s all around. And of course now the front wheels are too wide. And magnesium wheels, and we don't forget to change uh, rims this time. Switch the front back to 145s but bigger rims maybe could even go with smaller tires but that's probably too small in order to get the maximum out of cornering i need to go with wider tires but i give it 14 inch rims in the back and then i think we should be fine 165s all around which is a lot we can still run drum brakes. I will not invest anything here. It, this needs to be cheap. And I think it also looks as cheap as it is. Although we are already running into brake fade issue. But um, we also need to down tune the engine. So far no semi clad because it will be heavy. And also will increase our uh, brake fade of course. Because it increases top speed. Basic or sport, let's go for sport. Although sport is expensive. Oh, basic is so cheap. Let's definitely have a basic option. And let's see what we can do here. I would like to get it up in light sport, but there we are far away still. Oh, I'm changing the camber again. Shouldn't do that. 64% just. Low prestige, low comfort, no, low reliability. But I think it makes sense first to work on the engine. So let's replace the variant. I don't think we have a need for the racing engine, do we? Or maybe let's keep it and just clone it. The Stradale engine version, same as for the car. This will be the Stradale. And then, yeah, let's try to make it cheaper and reliable. Eight thousand RPM is more than enough. Remove quality where we can. 
between the COEs are also quite expensive. I think single one will do. And we're at West 4. That would be really awesome. Can even run it a bit leaner. Hmm. Can we still run with the leaded? I think we can. Don't know when the leaded fuel ban is coming around. This is another thing for the spreadsheet. Definitely no no race tubular. Exhaust looks the same. 115 horsepower still is plenty. I cannot choose the forged parts in case I want to do my own factory later on because I cannot. I, I really cannot afford forge works by then. So maybe we have to destroke a bit. Let's make it a 1.4 for now. No 1.3. It would help us a lot. And then of course no race intake but performance. And we lose quite a bit if we don't go for the performance high. I think I want the performance high and then optimize it a bit more. Hundred horsepower. Weight has come down. Emissions are all right. Just failing on the HC side for West 5, but that's still quite a bit away. And only relevant for Gasmia as of now. Ah, Fuenia, <laughs> West 6 in 6 in 76, but then we need some catalytic converters or anything. So I think that's fine. Ah, yeah, rims. Before I forget again. Maybe these look a bit more like they could be made from magnesium. And then let's fix the wheel arches again. Yeah, it's fine. Front is alright as well now. I, I need to work on those wheel arches. This does not look right. But for now, I think it's time for rivets. Something to relax. is a bit messy so don't look too closely yeah we still need a windscreen and i want something curved something that roughly resembles this line here but first before i forget about our number plate So I'm still doing everything I can to not have to work on the windshield, but I think that needs to change soon. But first I'll finish the interior cage here.
Yeah, I think this looks perfectly safe, right? Also a lot of room for your arms. I think there's no way around working on on the windshield. Okay, I can Okay, I can still attach the rear bumper properly. So let's do that. Uh, the exhaust is still a problem. First want to fix the exhaust or work on the windshield. I guess I'll go with the windshield this time. That's actually not that bad. Just have some sharp corner here, right? Uh, it's not that good because it's not centered. I don't think it gets much better than this, but the problem is it's transparent from the inside. And I don't think it will help if I paint it like this now. I guess I have to live with it that it doesn't look as nice from the outside, uh, from the inside, but I will at least try to line it. Why am I doing this? This is not really working. I don't think I'm able to do something. I can be happy that it looks like this. But the rest is just too much work. Maybe I will make the steering wheel a bit smaller still. Right, got the exhaust fixed as well, very professional. And then I think it is time for a final try at the wheel arches. Oh, did I finally find some? I don't believe it. Indeed, holy count could be higher, but I think those could be it. And no, this is totally not an open wheeler. Very nice, very, very nice. And now I also want to have some kind of deflector for here for stones and stuff. Just so that we don't get all of that stuff into our face. Fortunately, it will protrude here into the interior. So probably not a good idea like this, but there should be other options. Not that bad. Bit of a sharp edge here, but I think it's all right. Guess we need more of gap. 
I don't know if this one is labeled as a convertible. It isn't. <laughs> this is totally a coupe. Mirrors, mirrors, mirrors. These are the same as on the Nova Via. Yeah, we might be able to see something here. XLR badging. Still need to attach the wheel arches and then I'm done. Cannot use the ones that are part of the fixture. Rear is attached. So, the only thing that's still looking a bit weird is the front. If we attach the lamps here, I think it's looking a bit better. Beautiful. Almost. I like it. So, can we make this a bit more viable? Currently, it's not that good. At least emissions and safety are there. Where we need them. We can even reduce safety a bit. Very good. Still, they are complaining about a low reliability. And I'm not completely sure if that's still alright. But probably we need to um, work on the project itself first. So brake fit wise we are down. We can also go for more normal pad type. We can go for shorter gears a bit. For better acceleration. The tires are probably pretty expensive. I need them for all the sportiness. The very basic version doesn't score too well, but maybe let's have a track version and also a street version. So this is not the street version, it's call it Competizione and then it's like a club racer. And we can optimize a bit more for track. Just harder suspension is good for them. Somewhere the sweet spot is here. Yeah, no comfort anymore. <laughs> so this is roughly where I get it. And with sports interior it actually does a lot better. I guess I need to go with sports here already. Even though it's much more expensive. Okay, I would sell quite a few. Even at this price, I'm not able to sell it yet at this price, but I think this should be pretty good. And then let's make a more practical version with a radio. Premium radio will be good enough for light sport. Just so that they don't complain about comfort. And then we have a pretty cheap project here and we can still work a bit more on the car without it being a very expensive project. So in two years we can do quite a lot. Maybe something like this. Seven million. Yeah, it's a lot now. But also two years is not too much. Maybe I make it longer but cheaper just so that we have time to collect money. Engine doesn't take a lot of time, which is very good. Because then we can make the engine more reliable. Let's aim for about three years. And for now, of course, let's go to our contractor. And in three years, we try to get our own factory. 6.4k, still a lot cheaper already. And 
here let's also aim for three years there we have it and for now let's go to our racing shed or should this actually take over from the montone now let's go to the racing shed we will kill it very soon afterwards anyway because we want to go into a proper factory and have excellent workers okay and this project actually looks like it could work so light sports 16k track 17k we are well under producing so we can raise our margins there yeah we have to do this if we really can sell that many then this will be an excellent project when we move to the bigger factory 40 percent is maybe a bit much because then i don't have any margin anymore and i don't want to lose money while producing those and we fulfill our pre-orders so let's go for 30. yeah looking nice so after posting the first status to the community i of course got new ideas what to improve and yeah one of these was to place the indicator actually level with the headlights and i made a special mounting for that that also means that i could reduce the size of the front bumpers and what also yeah was a bit weird was the very low mounted rear bumper with the integrated rear lights so i put the rear bumper a little bit higher adjusted the mounting and also looked for different rear lights which i found And the rear lights also moved up into the rear panel there where i also removed the license plate attached that to the bumper which gave room for a nice chisel peanut badge and then i gave the fixation of the exhaust another go put some metal pieces to the bumper mounting don't know if this would vibrate off over time and then for the stradale i deleted the complete car to take over all of the modifications from the competizione the community had the idea to have a hardtop version which i then built with a custom roof there totally not taken from any truck or something it does not fit the car 100% but this makes the improvised nature of the car maybe a bit more obvious and definitely that way it has become something unique Afterwards, I needed to give the Stradale the engineering work that it needed. Basically, did the same choices that I had before, painted it in yellow. Then I outlined the roof a little bit more to make it look like a removable hardtop, and then we're basically done. thought and then I thought well this car doesn't have any doors at least the Stradale version should have doors so needed to remove a few rivets add some seams add door handles and then we have at least a basic opportunity to actually get inside the car even though you have to be quite small and um, flexible, I guess, to get into this one. Then, of course, the premium package consists of wipers. Also, what's new is a actual fuel tank inlet. And, of course, also part of the premium package is a radio, and that needs an antenna. I finalize the riveting work, and then we are actually done. 
Alright, so now that the visual design is finished, let's take another round at engineering. We're still here at 36 months, 7 million, which is good. Take another look at the factory. Probably can get a little bit more profit out of it. Don't know if it's worth it for a few hundred bucks. Probably not. We should rather go with build quality given our recent experiences that we had. And then the forecast is looking alright, but I can add more. Yeah, so very profitable from the very beginning and I think I will go with this. We're definitely not a cheap light sports car company, but a light sports car company. So, yes, it looks alright. Three years, 10 million, it's about 300,000 per month. So we definitely try to do that without a loan so that we continue to recover and that our company valuation also increases. And then we should be in a very good position or in a better position to take out a loan for a larger factory. So no loan, let's sign it off. And let's continue our journey backwards through the alphabet, hopefully. But maybe not yet in this episode. We will probably stay at F. Let's see one more tick. Yay, another quality issue. Very nice. Small issue, low discovery chance. I think that's all right. I could even pay it as it is right now. But with a 25% chance, I will actually do a quiet recall. The Nuova Via will still take one or two months to get rid of all of the pre-orders. And we also still have some stock here. Montone is still running fine. And we still make a big profit. I want to do a little bit more marketing, especially in Fruinia. Supercar market here is not growing too much. So yeah, also prestige doesn't help too much there. Definitely needs more marketing and sportiness. So I added quite a bit there. Bring it up to the same level as um, Estalua, basically. It's just that I don't do any company marketing yet because it's too expensive. From sales data perspective, yeah, Fuinia is our main market. We are selling muscle cars. I wonder what that is. Let's take a look. Sales breakdown in muscle premium there we are with a nuova via berlinetta i thought i sold three but it looks like it's just one so the three is probably coming from the pre-orders on the light sport budget side we are not selling anything because we're too expensive on the premium side it's the motone ahead of the nuova via and in the normal light sport of course um, the Montone is dominating. A quick look at supercars. Yeah. Still old Nuova Vias, new Nuova Vias. The sales numbers are not up there, but I don't care about sales numbers now. I need profit. So let's continue. Yeah, it's looking all right. Let's see how the company valuation develops. 700k more company valuation within one month is all right i have one trim failing emissions and that's the old nuova via spider and we still get 50 cents from the berlinettas and we don't pay any taxes excellent let's continue for a little bit longer Maybe with regards to strategy, the Montoni won't get an update anymore. It will just run as long as it's continuing to make profit, then we will discontinue it. The Gidue will be the replacement basically for the Montone. And for those actually wanting a proper car, we will build a GT variant at some point, probably next episode. With regards to a GT, maybe let's take a look at available bodies don't know if this one would actually have GT configuration. Unfortunately not. No seats in the rear. How about this one? 
This would be a 3 plus 2, so we could make a GT out of this, but probably not in a mid-engine configuration, which would be fine. So maybe this could be an option. At least it looks a little bit exotic, because the rest of the bodies here is a bit standard or too large. But yeah, I need to take another look what could be a good body. This one also doesn't have seats in the rear. And the other ones are probably already too old, so this of course would be an option. Yeah, also with a shooting brake wagon <laughs> variant would be nice. I need to take a look what really works. So now all of the pre-orders are gone and we are quickly, quickly collecting stock here for the Nuova Via. Maybe we should produce less. I don't know if this tooltip was here for a long time. Now we can see which cars are produced in which factory. This is really helpful. <laughs> now I know where to reduce the shifts. So maybe I just reduce the shifts here in the new shed. Go back to 0 0.5 and then we should also get more profit. Yeah, so our expenses have dropped. We make more profit. Very good. Yeah, things are going into the right direction. Let's do one more month and then end the progression here, because then we have a company valuation which is higher than minus 10 million euros. This is pretty good, I'd say, for our yeah for our levels. So let's stop right here and give the Gidue prototype a quick run on the track. So here we are behind the wheel, accelerating out of the pit lane for our first little rollout. This is not a timed run, just want to get a feel for the car first. And yeah, the g drives as it should, I guess. So it's not overpowered, I think it would be controllable and driving at the limit. It accelerates nicely, it's a little bit oversteery, but as I'm driving with the controller right now, maybe I don't get the best response from the car. So the goal is to have the long promised track episode coming very soon. So after this one, before we build the GT car, and then I'll be driving all of the cars that we had so far on this new track. And I'll drive them with the proper wheel and then also have a proper comparison. Probably driving a bit better than here with the controller. For now let's enjoy the awkward visuals of the g -Duo. and I personally absolutely love it. Um, maybe the Competizione version a little bit more than the hardtop version, the Stradale. But for now that's it, I'm looking forward to driving all of the cars properly. Thank you all for watching and see you again very soon. Bye bye.